Hello and welcome to Nepal Tech. So it's me Sekhar Khanal. So today in this video session, we'll be taking a look on what Istio is and we'll also be deploying Istio on our AWS CKS cluster. So let us first get started with what Istio is. So talking about Istio, it is an open source service mesh platform that helps us to manage and secure microservices based application. Its architecture consists of data plane and control plane components. The data plane typically implemented by sidecar proxies, example in VoE manages the actual network traffic between services. The control plane manages and configures the proxies, handles traffic like traffic routing, security policies, and telemetry collections. Istio's component include pilot, it manages the traffic, mixer, it handles the policies, citadel, it provides security, and galley, central configuration management. This architecture enhances observability, security, and control in microservices environment. So let's dive deep into the architecture. So data plane, it consists of envoy proxies. So Istio primarily uses envoy proxies as a sidecar containers alongside its microservices. These proxies intercept and control all the incoming and outgoing traffic. Then we have control plane. So control plane consists of pilot, which is responsible for service discovery and traffic management. It configures the envoy proxy with information about the available services and their locations. Mixer, it enforces access control, uses policies, and collects telemetry data. It helps in enforcing policies and collecting data from monitoring and logging. Then we have Citadel. So it manages the security aspects of the service mesh, providing features like mutual TLS for secure communication between the services. Then we have Galley. So it is a centralized configuration management, ensuring that configuration are distributed correctly to all the envoy proxies. So this is the architecture. Now let's talk about the feature of Istio. So the main feature is traffic management. So Istio allows for advanced traffic routing, canary releases, and fault injection to test the resilience of our microservice. Then the next feature will be security. So it provides encryption, mutual TLS, identity and access management, and fine-grained control over communication between services. Then the third feature we have is observability. So Istio offers robust monitoring and tracing capabilities. It can generate detailed telemetry data to gain insights into the behavior of microservices. Now, how do we integrate it? So Istio can be integrated with various platform and services, including Kubernetes, on-premises, or cloud environment to enhance the capabilities of the underlying infrastructure. So in summary, Istio simplifies the management of microservices by providing a set of powerful features to handle traffic, security, and observability concern in a consistent and scalable manner. Okay, so let's get started with our demo. So, so in today's session, we'll be deploying this application. So as we can see, this is the description. So the book info application is broken into four separate microservices. The first one is product page, the second one is details, the third one is reviews, and the fourth one is rating. So as we can see on the figure, the product page microservices calls the detail and review microservices to populate the page. Then we have details. So the detail microservices contains book information. Then we have reviews. So the reviews microservices contains book reviews. It also calls the rating microservice. Then we have rating microservice. So the rating microservice contains book ranking information that accompanies a book review. So there are three versions of review microservices as we can see on figure. So the version one does not call the rating service. The version two calls the rating service and displays each rating as one to black stars. So as we can see on the figure, reviews version two shows black stars. And the version three of reviews we can see it displays the rating on one to five red stars. So yes, that will be it for this application. And this is the architecture that uh, is shown without Istio. And when we implement Istio on this application, here we can see each and every container is consisting of an envoy. So that is a proxy. And as we can see, each and every request are passed through the ingress envoy and each and every microservices has their own sidecar container that will be envoy and all the networking will be managed by this envoy or the proxy or the sidecar container itself. So I hope the architecture is uh, familiar and is understandable. So this application is polyglot. 
that is the microservices are written in different language it's worth noting that these services have no dependencies on istio but make an interesting service mesh example particularly because of the multitude of the services languages and the version of the review service so as on figure we could see it's made up of four programming language so the product service or the product page service is made using python programming language then we have reviews which is based on java then we have details which is written on ruby and we have rating which is written on node.js okay so as you can see i'm over the getting started uh, page for the istio documentation so follow these three steps to get started with istio so as we can see the four steps or the steps that we'll be following today will be download and install istio so we'll be downloading and installing the istio then we'll be deploying the sample application and we'll be opening the application to the outside traffic and we'll be viewing the dashboard so let me show you my aws console and here we can see i let me go to my eks so for this video or this demo i have already created a eks cluster and assigned a node group with it so my cluster name is istio service space and the kubernetes version that i am using is 1.28 so as we saw here these steps require you to have a cluster running a supported version of Kubernetes that is 1.25, 1.26, 1.27 or 1.28. So 1.28 being the latest, I am currently using the same 1.28 Kubernetes version. And let me go here and let me show you inside compute. So here we can see within my node group, Istio node group, I have two nodes of instance type D2 medium. So that will be it. So I am con currently connecting to my EKS cluster using this EC2 instance. So I have already installed a kubectl on this instance. So let me check if kubectl is working. So here we can see it's being recognized. That meaning okay, so let me first show you my AWS EKS cluster. So AWS EKS. So here we can see our instance is connected with this AWS EKS cluster. So we are good to go. Okay, let us check the resources that are freely available here. So here we can see there is a service named Kubernetes with the cluster IP shown here and kubectl get nodes. Here we can see we have two nodes that are readily available and we are good to go. So let me clear this and let us check the namespaces. So we have four namespaces. The first one is default. And we have other cube node leads, cube public, and cube system namespaces available. So let me go back to the documentation and let's get started. So first, we'll be downloading Istio. So for that, I'll be using this command and I'll be running this command over my instance itself. Okay, so it's downloading Istio of version 1.20. So let me go inside the currently downloaded file or the folder and okay looks like I am let me do ls and let me get inside the directory that is stio and here we can see there are multiple files available here so let me clear and let me list this once again and what we'll be doing is we'll be so currently if we see if I write CTL, so it won't be recognized even if it's downloaded. So we need to add Istio CTL client to our path. So let me add this. And if I do Istio CTL now, it will be recognized. So here we can see our command is also recognized. So we are good to go. We have Istio downloaded and installed successfully. Now we'll need we needing to install our Istio. So here we can see for this installation we use demo configuration profile it's selected to have a good set of defaults for testing but there are other profiles for production or performance testing so we'll be using the same demo itself so here we can see istio ctl install set profile is set to demo so here we can see after running this istio core is installed and it is processing resources for the istio d so istio d is control plane so it consists of pilot mixer citadel and galley so egress gateway are also installed, Istio D is also installed and ingress gateway and everything is completed. So now let me do kubectl get 
NS. So here we can see Istio system namespace is created by default by the Istio. And if I do kubectl get ports iPhone N and Istio system. So here we can see we have three ports running for Istio. So that are Istio ingress gateway, Istio egress gateway, and Istio D. Okay, and it lies under Istio system namespace. So here we can see this is the description of our pod istod so it lies under namespace istio system node ip is shown here and the labels we can see app istod and istio pilot and so on so currently sidecar istio hyphen dot io slash inject is set to false and status it is running and it is controlled by replica set which is of id this one and this consists of image that is docker dot io which is coming from the docker hub itself slash istio slash pilot and it consists of an image id with has 256 encrypt and it consists of port 8080 tcp 10 sorry 15010 tcp and 15017 tcp and these are the other arguments passed to this so yes this is what i wanted to show and let me clear this and we have istio installed as well Now we need to inject invoice sidecar proxies to our application but let me first deploy our application and I'll be injecting it to the defined namespace. So for deploying our application we need to run this command. Okay, so here we can see we are applying the YAML file that is located within our sim samples book info platform cube and inside this there is a book info dot YAML file. So let me hit enter and I'll also be showing you what are the things that are inside this YAML file. So here we can see our service for detail like the service is created. We have service account for book info details. We have deployment type of details version 1 created. We have service created for rating service. We have a service account created for book info rating microservice and we have a deployment accordingly and so on. So as I mentioned on the figure itself, we have three versions for review. That is reviews version 1, reviews version 2 and reviews version 3. So it is created accordingly. So let me clear this and just one thing, let's go to this directory or let's read what is available over this file. Let me remove this first. So get samples. So here we can see these are all the manifest file for our individual services. So to apply for all, all four book info services, their corresponding service accounts and deployment. So this is the command that we just ran and we have our services created accordingly. So this is for the detailed service. So the kind here we can see it is set as service and the metadata is set to details and the label is also set to app details and service is set to details and the ports its listening is 9080 over HTTP protocol and the selector is set to details. Then we have service account and book info details is given for this service account and then we have deployment for details microservice. So this is the image that it's pulling and we have rating service. So talking about rating service it's using the metadata name rating and the label consists of app name that is ratings and so on so it's using port 9080 and HTTP protocol for this one then we have the service account associated with this and deployment file associated with this then we have reviews and here we can see reviews is set to kind service for its service to be created then we have service account for reviews and we have deployment so talking about deployment we have reviews version 1 for the version 1 then we have the same for the reviews version 2. So if we are trying to deploy a microservice, a same microservice with different version, we need to define each and everything related to it 
once again so as we saw reviews version was consisting of certain manifest file so accordingly reviews version 2 is also consisting of this deployment where we can see the version is set to version 2 and the image it's using is also version 2 1.18.80 let's compare this with the, the previous version so here we can see it's using version 1.18.0 so this will be it and version 3 consists of the version 3 accordingly so yes uh, this link will be provided over my youtube video discuss description as well so you can check it from there so we have already completed the deployment of the book info application so kubectl get ports and we could see these are all created over our node and talking about ports so as i mentioned i have not created any other namespaces so i am deploying it to the default namespace itself so i do not needed any namespace flag over the kubectl tl get ports and hyphen namespace so we are good to go now we can see the ready status is set one by one and so on so each and everyone is having a individual single container so we want a sidecar container to be passed to each and every of this service so for that let me go here and now what i'll be doing is i'll be injecting this one so here we can see add a namespace label to instruct istio to automatically inject invoice sidecar proxies when you deploy your applications so Okay, let me go back here and let me paste this. So this will be injecting our sidecar proxies to each and every ports that are available in, within this namespace default. So if I do get ports, again we'll be seeing this ready status as one out of one and we are not seeing that a sidecar proxy or envoy proxy is being created. So for that what I need to do is I need to delete all these services and they will be working accordingly after being created newly so for that let me once delete one of the service so kubectl delete or and i'll be deleting product page for now delete okay delete pod and this will be my pod name and so here we can see the pod product page has been deleted so if i get pods once again so here we can see the ready status is set to zero out of two so one is the main container that we have hosted and the other one is the envoy or the proxy or the sidecar container that we are trying to create so we are good to go now in order to implement sidecar proxies to each and every containers or each and every ports running i need to first delete or we need to first delete all the containers and we need to again run this so for this let me clear this once and okay so i'll be deleting all the other ports except the product page so keep CTL delete ports and it will be my details container then we also have rating container or the rating pod then we also have the reviews so reviews consist of three versions so I need to delete all three ports for this review microservice so let me copy this as well then we have version 3 in okay looks like one space is missing so let me provide it with the space and so here we can see all the ports that we were trying to delete are deleted okay this might take some time so kubectl get ports so now let's see if our sidecar proxies are injected or not so here we can see each and everyone is consisting of ready message with two out of two status so we are good to go so we have also injected this and we have our book info application deployed so now let's go and check the services so
here we can see we have the services that we just defined so that is details for the details microservice then we have product page for the product page microservice then we have service for ratings for rating microservice and we have review service for review microservice and the type of each and every one is set to cluster IP so which is matching with this case as well so we also did the QCTL get ports and we saw each and every port is getting created with the container and also the sidecar proxy that we were trying to connect now what I'll be doing is I'll be verifying if the setup is working correctly within this point of time or not so for this let me copy this command and let me clear this screen once and let me paste this here sorry I do not paste okay so basically what it is doing is it's running the execution command and it's going inside the ratings app and it's passing this crawl request for the product page microservice within the port 9080 slash product page within this path and it's picking out the titles so let's run this and let's see if it's working fine or not so here we can see the title sample simple bookstore app is being shown there so we are good to go okay so let's follow this once again so open the application to outside traffic so here we go so in order to open the application to outside traffic the book info application is deployed but not accessible from the outside traffic so to make it accessible we, which maps the path to the route accordingly so let me go here and let me apply this book info gateway.yml file and we'll be checking what's inside this yaml file as well okay so we can see it's created so gateway and the virtual service is created so let me go to this location and let's check what's inside this yaml file okay so same let me remove this other flex so here we can see we have two kind that is gateway and the other one has virtual service so these are the crds custom resource definition so each TOD converts these high level routing roles into in very specific configurations and we do not need to configure proxies we configure each TOD control plane and based on which it creates this gateway and virtual service so these are not the components of kubernetes but are the components of istio and are the custom resource definition so using this our application will be exposed to the traffic outside so let's do istio and istio ctl analyze okay so no validation issues found when analyzing namespace default so we are good to go let me clear this and now let's run this command so that our ingress host ingress port and secure ingress port will be given to us so let me go here and let me run this okay so i think it's done so let me echo this once again echo dollar ingress underscore host okay looks like the value is not stored here let me also check for the ingress port so port 80 is shown here and also secure ingress port and so on so looks like this is not getting reflected so let me first do one thing let me go to the other platform and let me see this so this will be giving my ingress host so let me paste this and so this is the host that i'm trying to refer so let me copy this and let me export this over this variable so let me paste this and let me save this so if i do equal dollar okay i have this command so let me read on this okay not the port it's ingress host okay so here we can see it's stored so now let's do one thing okay let me go back to here itself and let me export this so let me copy this and 
let me paste this here ok so let me equal gateway underscore url also I need to do one thing so I need to equal this one with the HTTP and our URL that is product page ok so this will be the URL for our application so let me copy this and let me go to the browser and let us run this one ok so finally we could see simple bookstore app is shown here so here we can see the comedy of errors so this is the details this is the book details this is the whole product page and these are the reviews and ratings so let me refresh this currently we can see it's on black star so it means okay so black star means reviews of version 2 so i think currently it's running with the version 2 of review microservice if i refresh we can see it's star color converted so let me show you from here itself so version 3 of rating service and displays each rating as 1 to 5 red star so currently as we can see there are 5 red stars so currently it's using version 3 of review so let me also refresh this once again so currently it's using version 2 let me again refresh and currently it's blank meaning it's using version 1 and so on so in this way we can read out our traffic based on the versions and this is also referred to canary deployment okay so we are good to go now let me do one thing so these are the ports so let me do one thing let me remove this rating pod and let's check what will be happening there keep ctl delete pod and okay i will be deleting this rating okay let me refresh this once so the rating section is not being shown here still it's not shown and currently it shows let's check if our container is deleted so we can see our pod is deleted and if i do get pods once again our rating container is already up so let me uh, delete this details page so that it will be clear for us okay so within details we can see error fetching product details sorry product details are currently available for this book so in this way what we are achieving is each and every services are decoupled with each other and if even if one of the services is down we are not affected by it and all the other services will be up and running so in this way using istio or using microservices architecture we are benefiting a lot from it and using so let me refresh this once and let's check the book details is coming so as i mentioned the key to understanding istio and the istio architecture is to know about both envoy and kubernetes so it is not a question of istio versus envoy or istio versus kubernetes they often work together to make a microservice based containerized environment operate smoothly for so i hope it is clear to us and on the next video we'll be taking a look what kiali is what agar is within our istio so stay tuned